It has been nearly 24 hours since the shooting happened and details are still unfolding as the BCA investigates. Now here's what we do know at this time. It happened around 520 last night, about a mile south of downtown in the Whittier neighborhood. Now the shooter was killed on scene, but not before six people were shot. And that includes two Minneapolis police officers, along with a firefighter and three civilians. One of those civilians and one of the officers died. The officer killed is 36-year-old Jamal Mitchell. The other victim and the shooter have not been identified yet. Now we have team coverage on this tonight. Paul Bloom looks into the life and legacy of Officer Jamal Mitchell. And Rob Olson, who was first on scene for Fox 9, and our Corn Hoggard. He's got some new details that we've learned today. That's where we want to begin tonight. Corin? Yeah, Karen and Tim, we're out here in this Whittier neighborhood where people are just trying to breathe again after a chaotic and terrible night. A lot of them are in mourning for the victims, and some of them are expressing that by building memorials like this one right here behind me. In the aftermath of a tragedy, a community leans into its new normal, starting with familiar symbols of loss and remembrance. I came down here to really pay my respects to the officer, um, Jamal Mitchell. Jonathan Mason started rebuilding this neighborhood psyche with flower bouquets and petals spread across the corner nearest where Officer Mitchell was killed. We seen that horrible image of the officer laying in the street, and you know, I w ideally we would have loved for it to be in the street just to show our uh, respects. The trouble started in this apartment building, where some residents and neighbors tell us they've complained to landlords about illegal activities for months. Their worst fears became real Thursday. Investigators say one person died in the initial shooting in the apartment. Then the violence moved outside and down the block. Like this, so. Uh... Investigators still aren't giving a lot of specifics, but they've seen body camera video and say the gunman was waiting when Mitchell got there and assassinated him at close range. What I can tell you is that Officer Mitchell was attempting to assist the individual that shot him. And with that, it happened very fast and that he ambushed him. Now, a firefighter and a police officer who were injured in this situation have both gotten out of the hospital, but a bystander and another person who was inside the apartment where the initial shooting happened are both still getting treatment. Live in Minneapolis, Corin Hoggard, Fox 9.